Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the factors affecting biodiversity. In previous videos, we've seen that the Earth is rich in habitat biodiversity, species biodiversity, and genetic biodiversity. However, this rich biodiversity is under threat from human activity. In 1960, the population of humans on Earth was 3 billion people. By 2022, this had reached 8 billion. Now, an increasing human population presents a major challenge to the biodiversity on Earth. Firstly, feeding a large human population requires intensive farming methods. Secondly, human activity requires a great deal of space, which is leading to the destruction of forests. And lastly, carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels is leading to climate change. So let's look at the impact on biodiversity of these three issues. The increasing human population requires a great deal of food, and the vast majority of this comes from farming. Farms are designed to support a very large population of a very small number of species. For example, we might see large fields growing only wheat, or containing a large number of cows. So straight away we can see that farms will have a relatively low level of biodiversity. When a field contains only one crop, such as wheat, scientists call this a monoculture. Herbicides are used to kill any unwanted plant species, which are regarded as weeds. And pesticides are used to kill any insects which might eat the crop. So a monoculture has an extremely low level of biodiversity. Often monocultures are grown on enormous fields, which makes harvesting more efficient. In order to create these fields, hedgerows are dug up such as the one I'm showing here. Hedgerows contain a rich diversity of plants and animals, so when hedgerows are destroyed, these are lost. And lastly, in many countries, forests are cleared to provide land for farming. This includes tropical rainforests, which contain more than half of all animal and plant species on Earth. So as you can see, modern farming methods have a negative impact on biodiversity. So as we've seen, forests are cleared to provide land for farming. The clearing of forests is called deforestation. Deforestation is also carried out to provide wood for construction and for fuel, or to provide land for cities and roads. And deforestation has a negative impact on biodiversity. Now often with deforestation, the forests are burned, and this produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is also produced when fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas are burned for energy. Now the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased significantly over the last 200 years, and most scientists now accept that this is leading to climate change. For example, changes to rainfall patterns, wind patterns and global temperatures. The mean temperature of the surface of the Earth is increasing, and scientists call this global warming. Global warming will have a negative impact on biodiversity. Firstly, rising temperatures are causing the polar ice caps to melt. The loss of polar habitats could lead to the extinction of animals and plants that currently live there. Now, as temperatures increase, water expands. So along with the melting ice caps, this is leading to an increase in global sea levels. As sea levels rise, this will lead to flooding and the destruction of low-lying habitats. And again, this reduces biodiversity. Rising sea temperatures could cause the death of marine organisms, for example corals, as well as alter the distribution of fish. Now, as global temperatures increase, droughts will become more common. Many plants cannot survive under drought conditions, so this could affect the distribution of plants in many habitats. And this will affect the distribution of animals, which depend on those plants for food. And lastly, as global temperatures increase, this could alter the distribution of pollinators, such as insects. And again, this could affect the distribution of plants, as well as the animals that depend on them. In the next video, we look at why it's important to preserve biodiversity. 